bring truth into our hearts. A lot of the time, when we desire something or when we feel that we want something from the world, we will be bringing a sense of imagination in from the field of energy or field of energy is the best way to put it, outside of ourselves. Now, what happens when we do this is that we are creating the image of desire. And through the image of desire, we are trying to make something happen. The truth is, is we don't have control of this. We don't. As much as we can desire and we can, you know, hope, we don't have control of it. And as long as we are desiring and hoping, we're setting ourselves up for disappointment. And through disappointment, it lives infinite possibilities. So, one thing we can do, though, which will help us, uh, help us in life, is to understand that what will be, will be. What is meant to be, will be. Now, the difference between suffering and becoming joyful is understanding the truth. The truth is what will be, will be. And accepting the truth and honoring it and turning it into positivity. That's essentially what we've come here to learn, is learn how to turn anything into positivity. There's something about the calculation which represents the alchemy of of this universe or this reality if we can learn how to be alchemists if we can learn how to turn any negative situation into a positive situation essentially what we're doing is we're understanding and programming ourselves uh to to become alchemists really and why would we be learning to do this? Why have we potentially learn, uh, need to understand how to do this? Well, there's something about the uh, the truth of this is it's essentially magic, and where we don't look at it really as as being magic, but essentially it's magic. You're basically taking something which can affect effectively. Um, create a, a negative balance and we're turning that into a positive balance now essentially this is the truth of our existence because the truth of our existence lives in the uh, harmoniousness of, of love and positivity and joy and if we can essentially give our existence to change negative vibration to loving vibration then we may be essentially aligning to our truth of existence as the offspring of love is love. And once we connect to the truth which we are love and that we may be serving this planet in order to help other people love themselves, help other people acknowledge the, that the negativity which is existent within them isn't true to their nature when we can start to align ourselves with our own truth, if we can start to turn our own negatives into positives, we have the power to align other people's negatives into positives. And therefore, we may be having this experience or this reality in order to help serve other people, help honour other people. And most importantly, it's to help ourselves. We can never help ourselves we can never help anyone else until we help ourselves. But that's the joy, that's the truth, is that when we do help ourselves, we then have the power to give that wisdom or give that truth to another, to another soul. And that soul has the ability to awaken and, and, and learn uh, to then share that and connect it. Because ultimately, we're all connected, except the world that we're living in disconnects us to then be able to use our individuality as the uh, the expression of separation. And through separation, we can then be separated from our true divine nature. And then when we're separated from our true nature, that's when we start to feel disconnected. That's when we, and then once we're disconnected, that's when we can feel all the anxiety, all the fear, all the the, the stress, the worry, the, the depression, because we're not connected to our true spirit, our true source.